we got our extended shower today. It says it fits 35 to 42 inch showers. Ours is right at 30. But it also says uh, somewhere it says it can be can be shortened can be trimmed to fit smaller openings so we're gonna have to do some trimming on it this is it here looks like it's good quality it's only like $35 And this is what we're dealing with. We've got this partition door here and water seems to splash up from the bottom, splash out over the edge. it really limits the space in here so we're gonna take it down and put this shower extender up give that a try so here we go okay take some of these screws out of here And then I kind of took the knife and broke the silicone seal. It's still pretty tight. I had to dig a lot of silicone caulking out from in there. Then I have to do the same over here. Then I'll put some of the screws back in just to kind of hold that wall, the shower wall to the RV wall, clean up the silicone. Okay, get it all. All loose. Give a little bit more room, just getting rid of that. Take it out. Start cleaning some of the silicone up. I'm going to put these screws back in just to help hold the shower to the wall. I said it'll look okay. I think there was three of them on this wall. Well, uh, didn't hold much. I might have to fix that. And there might be four of them on this wall. I think the success of this project depends on how much time I put into getting all this cleaned off and making it look good. I'm getting all that all that off there. Then I'll get some Mr. Clean magic erasers and clean all this, make it blend in better together but then after I get that done then I can start putting in the shower extender I think I've got all the caulk off of it so I got three nice clean edges 
with some of the stuff that come off of it. So now I'm ready to measure the rod and cut it to length. It says it'll fit a shower 35 to 42. I laid out this dish between here and this and here was 35. And I opened and closed the shower. And then I moved it in just a little bit. And I think they're right. I don't think anything shorter than 35 will work. But it's easier to cut a little at a time than cut too much. So I'm going to cut three inches off to start. You know, if, if you would think if it's five inches wider than what my shower is, that I should take five inches off. But I'm going to try cutting three and see what happens. chop saw, but I think it'll be okay. I'll just have to clean up the edge a little bit after I make sure it's going to work. Okay, I've got six inches off of it. I use this original piece to kind of show me where I'm going to need to drill the hole. This will work. I ended up cutting six inches off of it. I'm left with uh, 13 and a half inches. I shouldn't have used a permanent marker. It's kind of stained my white rod blue and I haven't had anything taken off yet, but that'll be on the top side. And I'll try different products to see if I can get it off. But I, I put it between my 30 inch fixture here. And it has enough to swivel in and out. So I think I'll install it now. And uh, see how it works. Okay, here's the rod installed. I had to cut 6 inches out of it. What you do is you fold one side out. And the other, that'll give you a lot more shoulder room. That's where you need the room the most, is at your shoulders. And then when you get done, you can just push it in like that. And we're going to have all this extra room out in the hallway. But we haven't got a shower curtain for it yet, so we'll have to see how that works out. And we'll just cut the length and it'll fit in that lip down there. And hopefully it'll be a nice dry shower. Give us a lot more a lot more room. Alright, well thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Oh, one more thing. I was going to check. I wonder if this door is going to hit it when it's out like that. Ah... This clears. Good. Alright, well thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye.